Hello everyone and welcome to the highlights, the uh, Silicon Mobile Cup Match 3 from the West Indies, in fact we're at uh, beautiful Jamaica, Sabina Park in fact we're in Kingston, a big match, India versus Sri Lanka, as I say, uh, West Indies have got off to a bit of a flyer, these two sides are desperate for a win. Pitch, well a little bit of sheen about it, but it's the third time it's being used, Match 3, it's the same one as uh, Game 1 and 2. And a few little patches on there. Let's see where the white ball has landed. Now, Virat Kohli, he tossed the coin and he ended up winning the toss. And uh, India wanted to bowl first. So uh, that's what's happened in the toss. Sri Lanka, now they had a couple of changes. Uh, the two Mendeses were out. Koshal Jonathan came in. And Sananayak, you'll notice there. So a couple of changes for the Sri Lankans. And uh, bound to the side and missing Dilshan, of course, with that uh, calf injury. He sustained at the Champions Trophy. So, uh, Good lineup, good balance, some all rounders there, and uh, some very good quick bowling there as well from Malinga and Kulit Sekhar. So, India, of course, as I say, they won the toss and they decided to bowl first. Uh, the Indians, of course, they're minus their captain. You see there, Virat Kohli with the little C alongside his name. So, Dhoni out, in came Murali Vijay, and uh, Bhubaneshwar Kumar, he came uh, out of the side and placed uh, Shami Ahmed, you see there. Specialist bowler, young man making his way in uh, this Indian side, getting an opportunity once again. Alrighty, let's uh, join our commentators. First up, we've got Arun Lal and we've got Tony Cozy. So, ready for game three, a very important match for both teams. Both teams having lost their early match to the West Indies. Ranga and uh, Jaya Wadna opening the batting as they did against the West Indies in the match which they lost. So a new player in the Indian team, Shami Ahmed. So here's his first ball. A good one too. Taranga searching for it gets a fortuitous run down to fine leg. As you've been hearing, it's uh, overcast this morning, and we had quite a bit of rain last night. Chopped away, really well timed, and goes for four. Skids along the. Well, I would say probably skiddy outfield because of uh, a little bit of moisture. Oh, that's fantastic. He really hit it beautifully. Got on top of it, timed it, placed it. Four runs from the time he left the bat. He's particularly strong in that area. Just waits. He's always trying to make room for himself outside the off stump and he connects it so beautifully just cracked it it's like a whiplash ball just sped away that's a good shot Went right under it and uh, placed it quite deliberately well over the field out mid on down to the boundary didn't uh, land that far inside the boundary Jai Wanda gets a boundary four what a shot that is You get an opportunity, you've got to pounce on it. Slow outfield. Rupul Taranga gets enough. Oh, there we go. Murali BJ put it down. Yeah. So that could have been almost a similar detrimental effect after a good opening partnership. He's hit that hard. Went straight to Murli Vijay, who was in, in a great position. It's just that he couldn't judge the pace of Jawadana's bat. 
what a costly lapse that was and how Mahela would make them pay for it later. India had been guilty of letting off Sri Lanka's most dependable batsman. Their most elegant one as well, this shot was well out of character for him. As was Team India's fielding, by the way, for a side that had prided itself on being the best fielding side in the ICC Champions Trophy before this, it was decidedly flat. Myla's opening partner Taranga got a life as well and the two made the most of their good fortune, punishing India for their profligacy. That will be through. No stopping that one. Picked his spot nicely, Taranga. Executed well. He's really good at this shot. He just waits for this. This is one of his strengths. Too much room on that occasion. Even though when the ball is coming into him, it's slow off the bounce. So much room. But to his credit, he played it late to find that gap in third man. That's well hit. Beautifully played over long on. What an amazing shot. This is the second time he's done it today. Moves into the line of the delivery. Takes the bowler by surprise. Getting a little predictable, Ishan Sharma. Not too many short deliveries coming his way. Standing outside the crease and then he gets into it. Gets under it and he plays it well. I think it's the balance and the stillness of the head which just stand out features for me as far as Jayavardhan is concerned amongst a lot of other attributes didn't carry and has gone away for four the fielder in a uh, bit of a dilemma Yadav should he go for that catch or not? It's a tough one to decide because it's flat. But he did try and put his body behind it and was caught in no man's land and obviously didn't meet with the approval of the captain. That's hit superbly. Cleared the man at shot. Third man and another boundary to Mahela Jayawardner. What a shot this is. He gets under it. Gets, um, in fact, um, he may even hit it for six uh, in the near future because that's how well he plays this. Gets under it, hits it over. All he needs to do is beat that fielder close in who's that single saving fielder and there's really no defense against this. What a shot. And uh, just a little push over extra cover for the single that gets him to his 50 71st time he's gone past 50 in uh, one day internationals 18th time against India which just emphasizes how many times these two teams have played against each other Fine shot. Found the gap between short third man and backward point. And there wasn't much of a gap and he found it. So Saranga ends the over with a boundary. 98-99 without loss after 21. That's 100 raised now. So an opening partnership of 100. Boundary of the last ball of the previous over went in the direction of Ishan Sharma. It speaks to the excellence so far of Jawadna and now Thuranga who's brought up his 50 as well in his second innings on returning to the Sri Lankan lineup 29th in ODI cricket in addition to 1200s and that's a beautifully played shot my goodness Ashwin's down there but he couldn't get across in time 
know Usain Bolt. Didn't have the pace and couldn't get around. Superb shot, Phil. Wasn't a great deal of room for Ja Wardner here. And this is where you see the sense of timing that so many, in particular the Asian batsmen, are able to use the pace of a bowler. Beautifully picked up. One bounce for four. There's just so much class about this guy. He knows exactly where the fielders are. He knows exactly where the spots he wants to hit the ball in are. Not worried about the man at backward square leg because he was never aiming there. He loves Wicked. it there. Outside the off stump, Upul Taranga does not miss out. He's been around for a while, so these are not going to get away. Wide half volley. Bang. Beautiful timing. Just threw his hands at it. Not concerned about getting that front foot anywhere near the line. Just threw his hands through it. And away it went. No one in the deep. That'll be four. Well, made an early move. Jai Wardner got settled, gave himself the room. Knew exactly where he wanted to hit it. Brilliant shot. Got underneath it. There's no one in the deep. That's playing smart options. This is all about being aware. Just want to get underneath it. Doesn't matter if it doesn't go for six. There's no one down there. Goes down the ground. This is brilliant batting from Upal Taranga. Fielder came into the circle. Ashwin did pause though, but did not put him off. So nine runs or four balls. Good start to the power play for Sri Lanka. Yes, this is good cricket. Just went as straight as possible with him. Outstanding batting. Great awareness that the third man had come up into a short third man position. So much of Jawadna's batting is about knowing where the gaps are. Also, not very clever bowling. I'm sure you're aware of your field as well. You can hardly bowl a short one outside the off stump with no cover whatsoever on the offside. All the three players are on the onside, and then you bowl one short. Now, take a look again at that leg of his here he delivers now look at the other leg where it's going it's almost coming up from the other side and if it has as though it has a mind of its own it's going to come out from its socket from behind him yeah that's the area that i think that, that i mentioned that i think he'd be aiming for simply because there's a long off but there's no one at long on he mentioned that it was tough because you're going against the turn and he didn't middle it but he hit it well enough this is a very tough shot really very difficult just take a look he's played it against the turn is what bishop was saying not the easiest shot and especially to mid on you might have a slog sweep which you have a greater percentage uh, in success but straight over mid on superb shot Brilliant stuff. Deliberately hit up and over the man short in that square leg and takes Jar Wardner to 99. 
What an innings this has been. Uh, it's been frustrating for the bowlers because he's manipulating the field at will. Now, this is a slower delivery, but he's got every shot in the book and a few more. He's on the front foot, but he just doesn't commit. That's his greatest strength. He can pull off the front foot as well, which he's done here. He's just transferred weight. He assesses length very quickly. Superb batting. Just one away from what will be a wonderful 100. That's it. Number 16 for Jawadna. Pumps the fist. His life in the veteran yet. And made in uh, slightly difficult conditions, having lost the toss and being asked to bat first. Few supporters that I hear are overjoyed because this is an important game for both. Could remind you that both teams have lost a, a game apiece. Just the way he's played, he's just been in control and in command, in fact. He's got his 100 in just 107 deliveries. Should be out. It is out. Oh, dropped it. Well, he had it for such a long time. Almost in the fingertips, really. And never had control of it. And in the very last moment, on hitting the ground, it uh, eluded his grasp. 2 or 4 without loss. Nice shot. Beautiful shot, in fact. Sweet. Gosh, he, he's getting better. Unbelievable. And that's an off spin. That's against the turn. But look at the amount of space he's made for himself. Gets into the position. And what's good about him is, gets into a position a lot earlier than most others. Gets to where he wants to be, then he has that fraction of a second to execute. The batting power play only compounded India's misery. Myla and Taranga had full license to express themselves there, and they brought up Sri Lanka's highest opening partnership versus India in ODIs. 47 runs came from the crucial 5 over chunk as the left hand right hand combination motored along at over 9 and over. And some uninspired bowling, lethargic fielding and dropped catches certainly weren't helping the Indians cause either. Boundaries and sixes came all around the dial as the Indian leather flingers began to look all but clueless. But just when it seemed as though their shoulders would begin to drop and as though they had resigned themselves to chasing a total of more than 300, the men in the lighter shade of blue were given some breathing space much against the run of play. This time, surely taken. Similar shot that was put down by Murali Vijay when Jawarna was only 25 earlier this morning. is held by Umesh Yadav. Didn't quite get hold of it. Didn't come off as quickly as he wanted it to. Not enough pace to play that shot. And Umesh Yadav this time does not make a mistake. So, what a fantastic innings this man has played. 107 of 112, taken Sri Lanka to a magnificent uh, position. 213 for one. Well, this has got him a lot of runs as well. This shot and he favours it. He's confident with it. Got away once playing this shot when Vijay dropped him, but Yadav this time did not make a mistake, and that was an important breakthrough. With a short fine leg, it is just clipped away for four. And it takes Taranga to 99. Really not clever at all. That's just the area that he didn't need to bowl, especially with Taranga on 95. This is a just 
easy put away for him. Takes him to 99 and you wanted him to struggle to get there. The longer he stayed there, the better for India. And this was pretty thoughtless. You've also got to be thinking very hard where you want to be bowling it. Hundred for Upal Taranga. Only his second innings back for Sri Lanka after he was left out of the team. And this is certainly a more commanding knock from him. 13th ODI 100 for Taranga. So he's he's been prolific. Well, he's in showing his entire range now. And this is a pretty classical stuff now from Taranga, finding the gap and managing to uh, eke out boundaries at will. That's more like it. Flat and six. Magnificent strike from Angelo Matthews. This is the kind of punch that is required. 50 partnership is raised as well. 51 from 27 balls and uh, well, it appears as if Matthews is now on the move here. Lovely strike. Will it be taken? Ishan Sharma can't do anything about it. It's another massive strike, this time from Upul Taranga. It's a six. Oh, a lovely shot. Give himself room and hammer it through the offside. There's no one out there. Well, that's a magnificent shot because uh, your footwork had to be good, making room and playing it against the spin. Ashwin from around the wicket trying to angle it across the right hander's off stump and look at the massive result that Matthews got. Wonderful strike. Great to watch. This is the 300. Banged away, down to the boundary. Another four for Garanga. Wrong length from Ishan Sharma. Can't bowl um, short of good length from a man who's settled, who's looking to attack you. An easy shot over mid wicket for Upu Taranga. What a knock it's turning out to be now. Knocking out India out of this game. Another piece of misfielding. Indians really sloppy here. What should have been one turned into two. 154. Upal Taranga for exactly 150 balls. Four runs, well, a low full toss and not much room between long on and straightish mid-wicket. He found it, 100 partnership between these two now, the second 100 partnership of the innings. If India had thought Mahila's wicket would bring them some respite, they were in for a rude shock. Angela Matthews made sure the momentum wouldn't flag as he proved to be the perfect foil for the rampant Taranga. 180 runs would come off the last 16 overs of the innings, that is in the post-batting power play period. With the Lankan skipper in imperious form and with Taranga batting as though it was a net session, the Emerald Islanders stayed well on course to post an intimidating score somewhere in the region of the psychological 350 run mark. Uh, where's that gone? That's gone for six. My goodness, no. That's remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. How oh, you could gather over there for six, well... I suppose he's been there that long that he can do it. Well, it's an amazing shot. Have a look at him go. Square to a low full toss for six. It's a flat one over point. Just showing his natural talent and ability now, Upul Taranga. 
cornering the ball, bowling, and he's gone over cover. That's a tremendous strike. 335 for one with an over to go. Unbelievable shot. Unbelievable batting from Opal Taranga. He's played some magic shots and well, we just got to be out there to admire what we are seeing here. Full toss, high full toss, not an easy ball to hit for a six. And it went a mile. Last ball. Might as well come for a second. And they, they do. There's an appeal for a, a run out. All uh, depends whether they reach 350 or 349 as to whether this is out or not. I think he's fine. Stretched himself back into the crease. And Upul Taranga should be given or shown a green light. Is he on his bike or is he not out? Cycle Pyor Agarbati. Third umpire's decision and it's a not out. And it's a good one. Sri Lanka, what a wonderful total. 348 for one, that's right, just the one wicket to go, and that was Mahela Jai Warden for 107 off 112. 44, not our Angelo Matthews, the skipper, but look at that, 174 from 159 deliveries. Upul Taranga, quite an extraordinary innings. Bowlers, well, they went round the track, no surprises there. Young Shami Ahmed and Yadav and Sharma all disappeared, even Jadeja. Ashwin, the only wicket taker there, one for 67. Coley had a bowl, so did Rayner and they couldn't get any wickets. Extras, 23 off uh, those 50 overs. But, uh, wonderful uh, effort there from Sri Lanka. Look at that, 348 for one in uh, their 50 overs in this uh, third match of the Silicon Mobile Cup. But, uh, looking a very, very useful performance by Sri Lanka. 349 runs to win of 50 overs constitutes an Run rate of almost seven and over. Look at that, 6.98 runs per over. Taking a short break here. When we come back, it will be the India run chase. Shikadawan and Rohit Sharma make their way out to the middle for India. No one could Sekera will start off things for Sri Lanka with the ball. I suppose if Rohit Sharma needed an example, I'm not saying that he does, but if he needs an example of how to give the innings a start and continue, he just has to look at the opposition and what they did, two opening batsmen. He's a fantastic player, Rohit Sharma, but it's so often in the middle of the innings and that may, I suppose, explain a little bit of why he hasn't converted more of his 50s to 100s, but at the top of the innings now where he's been batting since the Champions Trophy, great opportunity. And he's been getting starts too. And that's why India have been dominant. But he'll be feeling a little bit of pressure though because he's not going to convert those scores into big ones. But this man, well, all he does is go after 100, Shikha Batted twice before here at the Sabina Park and on both occasions he's got himself out for 11. Classy shot. Not an easy shot to play because that was hit on the up. Just leaning into it, Shekadawan's first boundary. Got him. Well, he had to break free. The ball was hitting the bottom of his bat, Rohit Sharma. Just not finding the timing, but finding Matthews, who hangs on to a sharp one at short mid-wicket. It is a very good catch because it's on that length it's not a half volley and uh, the angle or movement from the bowler is coming in slightly it's taken the inner half of the bat and gone quickly to matthews that's a very good position in the field 12 for one murali vj is the new batsman replacing rohit sharma by trade and opening batsman so you don't want him, I suppose, to sink too far in the batting order. Oh, 
Slightly short. You can't afford that at Kulisekra's pace. Yeah, one or two commentators behind have been begging for intent and aggression. Daman showing now that he feels that he's assessed conditions into the seventh over. Asking for it. And length was full enough and wide enough, allowing Darwin to throw his hands at it and get the desired result. Very good batting. No attempt to get those feet near the ball. It's all about getting your base right, which will then give you the opportunity to throw your hands at it. That is very well played and that'll run away. That's more like it. That's innovative. That's delicately done. Use the pace of the delivery. He saw it maybe pitching outside leg. But he paddled it, soft paddled it to find uh, the finer fence. That is brilliant. That's what we know of Murli Vijay. Superb use of the feet. Gets to the pitch of it. And fetches himself a boundary. The second one in this over. Well, this is more like it. Gets down the track. And was never in any doubt as to where he wanted to hit that. That's in the air, but there's a fielder right under it, camping under it. Opal Taranga has no problems whatsoever. Simplest of takes. And Shikhar Dhawan makes the long walk back. Yeah, it's got quite a bit of bat on this. But just picked out the wrong area, straight to Taranga. He's hitting into the wind as well, which is probably not a really a great idea. So, but he goes for 24, and uh, India 52 for two. Well, India find themselves uh, in a predicament. Virat Kohli is walking in. He's been prolific in his ODI career, and more specifically against Sri Lanka. Straight in, Malenga waits for the catch, they're finding fielders with regularity here. Short delivery, and Virat Kohli, brief innings, goes for two, 57 now for three. Brilliant bowling from the skipper, Angelo Matthews, it was brought himself on, took the spinner off, he surprised Kohli. Matthew's pace, you wouldn't expect him to be bowling those short ones. A rare failure for Virat Kohli, gone for two, India are 57 for three. Dinesh Karthik comes in now. Last two wickets falling to deep catches where the fielder really didn't have to move. The ball came directly to him. Just had to wait for it, cup his hands, shut his eyes and take the catch. Beautifully bold. Typical Malinga. Typical Malinga with the Yorker. No use checking your head. You're not the only one who has ever been bowled by a Malinga Yorker. Into the stumps. Four down for 65. It's bowled on a length. Murli Vijay's holding back. Looking out for that Yorker. Lasit Malinga, this will boost his confidence. Vijay gone for 30, India are 65 for 4. Left-hander comes in now, Suresh Raina. With India, now you can see they're really in a heap of trouble. 65 for 4, big, big total, staring them down.
Gets it wrong, looking for the Orca. It's a good player, Dinesh Karthik. Looking for the Orca again. In fact, he's the, 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 holding at his, uh, the far end. He's bowling from the Courtney Walsh end. And he would have had a few stumps in this ground as well. Difficult delivery for Kumar Sangakara. It'll be a wide, so five wides added to the total. Nice shot. Glorious shot. See, you can sit and wait on it because you know he's going to be full all the time. And you still get a boundary. I think they're expecting these full length deliveries someone like a Suresh Reiner as well so I just want to give them something to think about that might be coming and then my pitch up delivery has great effect whipped away quite nicely just a little fuller than Malinga would have hoped, and that's very well played by Kartik. Yes, he was quick to pick up on that full toss. We saw it had a little bit of shape back into him. But he was down the wicket, trying to turn the Yorker into a full toss, and successful this time. Five of them. Hanjot comes up as well for India, but it's taken him 25 overs and a touch more. He's found the gap nicely, and it runs away for four. use of some width here Suresh Reiner <laughs> mammoth task ahead of India Sananaika will continue again that's played away nicely by Suresh Reiner Cots and an Iker for four in his previous over. And he picks up one with a deft touch final. Well, here's a, a smiling Russell Arnold with Rami's Raja. I'm also smiling, Bish. I'm always smiling, he says. That's a delectable shot. He's so good in, in that area. Times the ball beautifully. Seems to have the same kind of spirit as Michael Hussey, Suresh Rana. They both play for the same side, the IPL. Always positive, always looking for runs. Runs beautifully between the wickets. Is, is an ace in the outfield, in the field, anywhere. You give him a task, he'll do it for you. A real team player. 50 partnership. Oh. Gone, stumped. Is he? Yes, given out by the leg umpire. So, uh, coming out of his crease and trying to sweep the ball, not a good option from Karthik, but he was looking uneasy. 22 from 40 balls, never in, never settled, never got going. Not the easiest of pitches. It's that carom ball. Got too close to it, Dinesh Karthik. In the end, ended up yorking himself. Irat gets his second. It was a struggle for Karthik. 22 to him. India 118 for five.
half their side gone just past the halfway mark and an asking rate nudging its way above 10 and over to say india were looking down the barrel would be to put it mildly at that stage it looked just too tall an order even for the much vaunted world champions and world's number 1 odi team the chase had never really gone anywhere right from ball 1 In fact the trials tribulations and travails of the Indian batsmen only put Mahila and Taranga's efforts in perspective those two had been brilliant on a tough pitch quite unlike their batting counterparts from India on that note it's time for us to take a short break on the other side we'll tell you whether or not India managed to pull off the seemingly impossible so do stay tuned Ravindra Jadeja is out there very fine strike rate 82.1 That's low down the order, so 32.09 is not a bad reward as an average in the late middle order. That's a nice shot. Lovely flick, lovely wristy work from Jadeja. He'd like that. He had to wait for a very long time to get the ball away. Four dots followed by a four. seen a few good shots in between this is just one of them the batsman leaning into it it's pure timing letting the ball come on to him beautifully driven through the offside magic drive from suresh ryan i looked so good classy shot there's no one in the deep on the offside and he was eyeing that boundary but ended up playing a stylish drive down on one knee russell oh that's uh, overthrows Nobody covering that throw from Lasit Malinga. Throw is at uh, Angelo Matthews' end. He's broken the stumps as he got the man as well. Angelo Matthews has appealed for it. He may get a rough deal here. Suresh Raina is the man who's dived full length. And it'll be such an unreasonable, nasty way to leave the crease because he did everything right except that the bat was not grounded. In the first game, we saw Dinesh Karthik put in a big dive, and he was brilliant with uh, with the entire dive because the bat was uh, not raised from the floor. The bat is in the air. He's looking at the big screen. Will he be on his bike, or uh, will he survive the scare? We hear it's going to be out. Red light. O U T is gone. He's out of here. gets a rough deal tried extremely hard great athleticism shown but in the end the decision was made and i think it was the correct decision so unfortunate got a brilliant dive out but the bat unfortunately bounced 33 to suresh raina india now 142 for 6 and joel wilson is about to signal the start of the batting power play easily taken into his lap reverse sweep malinga waits for the catch and another wicket goes so seven down now and the end coming uh, pretty quickly well reverse sweep always taking a chance some people play it better than others and ashwin perishes this time and just four runs India now 153 for 7. So another wicket uh, for Sri Lanka. India 153 for 7. Now look at that. Target is 349. Tremendous innings from Sri Lanka. Having lost the first match comprehensively to the West Indies, they've come back really strong. 348 for one after 50 overs. Both opening batsmen scoring hundreds. The Ranga, the left-hander, not at 174. Jawad, no 
and uh, skid it on, finish him off. First ball. Shami Ahmed goes first ball eight down now. Uh, it's not pretty. This is a very, very ugly performance from India. Straight delivery. Just goes straight through. Skids on. Shami plays right across it. And away go his stumps. Just face the one ball. That's all it took. India 153 now for eight. Herath is back on. And uh, there is Judeja. Well, injecting some life into what had been a lifeless game. So six to Judeja. A little bit of life and uh, the Indian supporters can wave their flags for once. Amazing, I think he's got another. Really magnificent performance uh, by Sri Lanka from all quarters. Yet another wicket and this time Herath has got three now. Spun two, good catch by Sangakara because it spun plus taking a, a finish outside edge so there was fair amount of deviation after pitching. And all five foot two inches of Ian Gould sticks the hand in the air to send Sharma on his way for two, one six six for nine. Take a look at that for a shot. How about that? That is creative. That's audacious. It was smart batting because based on the field set that we, I talked about last over, he knows generally the line of Kulasekar is going to be outside the off stump based on the strength of the field. That is the end. Full, straight, and too much for Umesh Yadav. What a fantastic victory by 161 runs for Sri Lanka. Magnificent Mahila. And uh, yep, the Indian fans feel it's just one bad day. But a lot of credit to Mahila Jawadna and Upal Taranga. Twenty-four to Dawan. It was a slow start after Rohit Sharma went early. Murli Vijay nearly struggled to get going, and when he finally found some fluency, he departed shortly after. Dinesh Kartik tried his best, and he too was slow until he tried to hoik Herath out the ground. It was Jadeja who top scored with forty-nine. Got some assistance from Suresh Raina, who scored at a brisk tempo of a runner ball. But all in all, it was just too much for them to do. They needed a quick fire start and they couldn't get that because uh, Sri Lanka were excellent at the start of their innings as well with the ball. Matthews, brilliant, one for 23. They don't quite reflect how well he bowled, very economical. Kulisikara, one for 37, did his job. And then uh, the spinners came in in the middle, two and three, Sinanaika and Herath and Malinga did his job as well. So points to Sri Lanka by virtue of uh, winning this match by 161 runs. Well, no prizes for guessing who the man of the match was over there. It was, of course, Upul Taranga for his magnificent unbeaten 174, his highest ODI score. Well, that's all we've got time for on the highlights. Hope you've enjoyed them. Until next time, from all of us, it's goodbye.